I greet all of you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, my brothers and sisters. Good to meet uh, you all together uh, through this video. And I again want to tell you that you are in our hearts and in our prayers. Though physically we are separated and we have no opportunity to meet uh, even on Sundays, but wait for just a few more days and we shall be together again. Yesterday we talked about God wanting to be house for us. He wants us to make him as our dwelling place where we are secured. God wants to be your dwelling place. Who is God to you? God wants you to be under his roof now and always. He is not a retirement home. Many think God is to be uh, someone to think of after uh, retirement. But he wants to be your mailing address now and always. He wants to be your point of reference. He wants to be your home. Is it a new idea for you? But to read in God's word, we read it in God's word. We usually think of God as a deity to discuss, uh, not a place to dwell. We think of God as a mysterious uh, miracle worker, not a house to live in. We think of God as a creator to call on, not a home to reside. But you think again. You think of him as our father, as your father. And our Father in heaven. We pray that prayer. Father in heaven, hallowed be thy name. But though we pray it, then suddenly after that prayer everything is over, we forget what he really wants to be. We suddenly start thinking of him, someone away, someone you know, that we have to call. Uh, we don't know whether he is listening or not. But my friends, that is not what God. God is our Father. And he wants to, uh, wants us to, to live in him. Think of him as our Father, as your Father in heaven. He wants to be the one in whom we live and move and have our being. Where are you going to live? Today and tomorrow and the rest of your life? In God. The safest place to be. If you make him your dwelling place, he stands between us and our needs and waiting to help us. In Hebrews chapter 4 verse 16, it says, Let us boldly approach the throne of our gracious Father, God where we may find and receive mercy and his grace to find a timely help. I want you to notice there are these two words. Timely help. Not too soon and not too late. Just on time. And his time always is the right and perfect time. According to our time, he suddenly will not appear. 
he may not and you begin to doubt and you wonder why he is late we needed needed him now like martha and mary they send a message to him the one whom you love is sick and without you master he will not make it so come but he didn't come he waited two more days where he was and then he started his journey and by the time he arrived it was four days late but then that four days late was the perfect time for him our thoughts are not his thoughts and his ways are not our ways but his thoughts are always the better and the best thought for us his timings are always the best timing for us this is two words timely help his time always is perfect so don't be discouraged and don't be disheartened because you think he is late but he is not if you are maintaining your relationship with him and if you are abiding in him and his word is abiding in you then you can be sure that what seems to be late is not actually late but he is preparing a more glorious greater miracle for you so take heart in psalm number 90 one says lord you have been our dwelling place throughout all generations that's what i talked to you yesterday and the th same thought i am passing on to you today spiritually where are you living this is our spiritual realm in jesus christ and where is jesus christ at the right hand of god the father and so where are you seated and what is your spiritual realm your spiritual realm is heavenly places at the right hand of god the father and in jesus christ god's son and our lord and our savior you are secure you are safe just treat him as your revered divine father in heaven you will be blessed you will be safe so today dwell in him let him be your house he is only glad and remember revelation chapter 3 verse 22 says i stand at the door and knock if anyone open the door i will come in and i will live with him and the gospel according to st john chapter 14 jesus said you know my father loves you and i love you and uh, we will come and stay with you and enjoy fellowship see our heavenly father longs and he desires to be with us every moment and he is make sure that you keep him as close as possible by obeying his commandments his word and dwelling on his word and meditating on his word and singing of his greatness and his glories and uh, worshiping him and uh, through these things you are drawing closer to god and he will come closer to you through this you are calling on him and he will answer you so take courage speak to him enjoy his fellowship enjoy the communion with him that intimacy through which you shall inherit and you shall be a partaker of that divine love and divine life this is god's plan 
enjoy it. Amen.